Hello, this is Chaudhry Mahmood Anwar. Today I am going to describe econometrics in the most easy and comprehensive way. Simply, econometrics mean economic measurement. Academically, econometrics can be defined as the social science in which the tools of economic theory, mathematics, and statistical inference are applied to the analysis of economic phenomenon. Please remember that econometrics is concerned with the empirical determination of economic laws. To answer the questions like, how do econometricians proceed in their analysis of an economic problem? That is, what is their methodology? Although there are several schools of thought on econometric methodology, we present here the classical method to conduct econometric analysis still dominates empirical research in economics and other social and behavioral sciences. Following our eight steps to conduct econometric analysis, step number one is statement of theory or hypothesis. Step two is specification of the mathematical model of the theory. Step three is specification of the statistical or econometric model. Step 4 is obtaining the data. Step 5 is estimation of the parameters of the econometric model. Step 6 is hypothesis testing. Step 7 is forecasting or prediction. Step 8 is using the model for control or policy purposes. Now I will explain these steps one by one. For first step, use an economics theory. For instance, in this example, I will use this theory that consumption increases as income of people increases. Now you need to specify the mathematical model for this theory. Here it's mentioned that y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x whereas beta 2 is greater than 0 and beta 2 is less than 1. Y is consumption expenditure and X is income, whereas beta 1 and beta 2 are known as parameters of the model. Specification of the econometric model. Mathematical model of the consumption function given in above equation is deterministic in nature. An econometrician would modify the deterministic function to y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2x plus u, where u known as the disturbance, which is a stochastic variable that has well-defined probabilistic properties. The disturbance term may well represent all those factors that affect consumption but are not taken into account explicitly. Data collection. To estimate the econometric model given in third step means to estimate numerical values of beta 1 and beta 2, you need data. For this purpose, you will obtain secondary data, which is time series data for consumption and income for country under investigation. We will assume data from 2001 to 2020. Estimation of the econometric model. After getting data and necessary data management, you will run regression analysis. After running regression, the equation is estimated y hat is equal to minus 124.05 plus 0.6159 x. In this equation, we see that for the period 2001 to 2020, the slope coefficient that is also called marginal propensity of consumption is about 0.6159, suggesting that for the sample period, an increase in real income of $1 led on average to an increase of about 61.59 cents in real consumption expenditure. The next step is hypothesis testing. In this step, you need to determine that is 0.6159 you have already got is statistically less than 1 or not. You will use statistical inference or hypothesis testing to achieve this goal. 
Next up is prediction or forecasting. As you have basic solved regression equation for consumption now, y hat is equal to negative 124.05 plus 0.6159x. You can predict consumption expenditure for 2021. Suppose that the GDP value for 2020 was 5,269.1 billion dollars. Just put this GDP value in the place of X and you will get 3,121.1886 billion dollars which would be the consumption expenditure for 2021. And the final step is the policy decision. Now you can make an income policy for 2021. To answer the question, what level of income will guarantee the target amount of consumption expenditure? What you need to do? You just need to put 3,121.1886, which is your consumption expenditure for 2021. You just need to put this in the equation and you will get 5,269.0998 billion dollars. So you need this amount of income to meet the consumption expenditure for year 2021. I hope you find this lecture useful and easy to understand. Thank you very much for attending me. Are you tired of rejection of your academic scholarship? Submit your research to International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. With us, you will experience a reputable publishing platform that will guarantee high quality peer review. Our unique mentorship program enables you to develop your research to increase the chances of publication. Our editors are eminent researchers who will provide the much needed impetus for your academic works. Visit www.ijms.com and get your work published.